I'm Dr. Barry, licensed psychologist, and today we are going to hop right into today's video. So Jackie from Love is Blind season four, if you haven't seen episode six through 11, there are going to be some spoilers because after everything was recorded, she did an interview to clarify some things. So in this article, she called out the fact that everything was edited in a way that made it look like she had cheated. And she also explains why she kept the ring. And I'm interested to hear this because typically when you decline an engagement, you are supposed to return the ring. I have learned this from watching Judge Judy. But with this, Jackie talks about the fact that she had dumped Marshall and then she went on a date with Josh. But the way the episode aired, they played her meeting Josh at the same time that Marshall was getting fitted for his wedding tux. And I think this was to add a little bit of drama. I have mentioned this before that shows like this, their goal is to drive viewership and things will get edited in a way that tells a more compelling story. And I think once again, they were looking for another villain because Irina was kind of the villain from the first episodes. And then Jackie was kind of thrown under the bus a little, I think through the editing. And let's dig into this a little bit more. And so she talks about the fact that her and Marshall had some issues and that became apparent after they met face to face. From what she said, it looked like she wasn't as physically attracted to him. And I think he was a nice guy and she wasn't used to having the nice guy. So he made her breakfast. He kept asking, what do you need from me? And I honestly don't think she knew what she needed, but didn't think she was getting everything that she wanted. And if you are used to relationships that tend to be a little bit more toxic, sometimes a healthier relationship, and I'm not saying he was healthy, in general, I'm saying that if you're used to a more toxic relationship, sometimes if you're in a more healthy relationship, it can feel boring. It can feel like there isn't this spark. There isn't this passion. Because sometimes when you're in a very explosive, possibly even emotionally destructive relationship, that can feel like it can have these ups and downs because there's this cycle of violence within that, that type of relationship. And so, but within the show, Jackie talks about that she did finally meet Josh. They had that one little date that they showed. And she, at the end of it, said she wasn't sure if she wanted to date anyone. And I didn't love the fact that she used the word crazy and that the show included that portion because I just think she acknowledged that there were some things that she wanted to work on within herself before going into a marriage, which I think is incredibly important. And sometimes you don't realize the things that you need to work on personally until you're with someone that often you realize, oh, there's some individual work that I need to do. So Jackie posted to her Instagram that she met Josh at the coffee shop after she had already broken up with Marshall. And as for the ring, she felt that the fact that Love is Blind paid for all the rings, that was why she didn't need to return it to him. And that's where I'm not sure if she would return it to the show's producers because I don't know that the person should keep the ring, but that's just my personal opinion, I would have returned it. I think if you turn down the engagement, then you turn everything else down. So I'm going to be recording a longer video. This was just a quick, I'm not even in my normal studio. I wanted to just record this real quick review of Jackie talking about that. Um, I also do have some predictions for the other couples of who might and who might not. I'll be recording that video tomorrow and it might drop either tomorrow or Wednesday. We will see. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day.